Welcome to the eFoldy instruction video. Over the next few minutes, we will show you how the eFoldy works. While operating, please watch your hands carefully and never place your hands close to areas that are not shown in this instruction video, especially areas of moving parts which may cause injuries. Folding the eFoldy from a suitcase to a scooter. Before folding, please ensure the e-foldy is positioned on a level floor. Use both hands to release the handlebar and pull the handlebar towards you to release the magnetic lock. Hold the handlebar assembly with your both hands and release the magnetic lock. Use your left hand to release latch E. Raise the handlebar with the front subframe until latch D is properly engaged in its socket. The handlebar may now be rested against the front of the seat. Slightly twist the front wheel to disengage the magnetic lock from the main frame. Use both hands to lift the front wheel assembly. Use your right hand to grasp the front subframe and lower the front of the e-foldy to the ground. Make sure the wheel is pointing forward the mud guard should be at the back. Raise the handlebar assembly with your right hand and use your left hand to engage the steering latch A. Always verify that latch A is properly engaged as shown and the indentation is showing clearly. Raise the seat's backrest. Now you can sit on e-foldy. Unfold down the two foot rests and now you are ready to go. Folding the e-foldy from a scooter to a suitcase. Before folding, please ensure the e-foldy is positioned on a level floor or the ground. The handbrake is locked. The charger is not connected to the e-foldy charging socket. All switches are switched off. The foot rests are already folded up against the front wheel fork. Fold the seat's backrest forward and down. Hold the handlebar with your right hand. Disengage the steering latch A with your left hand and lay the handlebar on the seat. Grasp the front subframe and the front wheel, using them to lift the front of the e-foldy until the e-foldy is standing on the rear wheels and the lateral casters. Turn the front wheel so it is horizontal and pointing to the left hand side of the e-foldy and the mudguard is to the right hand side. Lower the front wheel against the frame so it locks into place via its magnetic lock. Lift the handlebar assembly with your right hand. Release latch D with left hand by pushing it down. Lift the handlebar assembly over the pulling handle. Lower the front wheel and front subframe together until it has engaged with latch E. Make sure the magnetic lock of the handlebar is properly engaged. Now the e-foldy is fully folded into a suitcase. Folding the e-foldy from a suitcase to a chair. Position the e-foldy upright with both large rear wheels and both lateral casters on level ground. Grasp the front stand with both hands. Press latch B and C with your thumbs. Push the front stand towards you into its horizontal position. Always verify the pins of latch B and C are securely engaged in the socket. Whilst keeping the rear wheels supported, lower the front stand to the ground. Raise the seat's backrest. Now you can rest comfortably on the e-foldy chair. Folding the e-foldy from a chair to a suitcase. Fold the seat's backrest forward and down. Lift it until the e-foldy is standing on the rear wheels and the lateral casters. Press latch B and C with your thumbs, lift the front stand 
into its upright position. Now the e-foldy is fully folded into a suitcase and can be rolled sideways on the lateral casters. Replacing or charging the battery. Before replacing or charging the battery, please ensure the e-foldy is positioned on a level floor or ground. The handbrake is locked on. The charger is not connected to the e-foldy charging socket. All switches are switched off. The battery pack is at the back of the e-foldy in the control compartment located behind the backrest. To remove the battery, use the key to unlock the battery box. Insert the key in the battery keyhole and turn it clockwise by a quarter of a turn to charge the battery. The charging port is on top of the battery. Slide to open the cover, push in the three pin metal connectors of the charger and then plug it into the socket or the e-foldy voltage converter when charging in your car. The red indicator means it is charging and will turn green when the battery is fully charged. As you enjoy your day out with the e-foldy, it can also be used as a super charging point to charge phones, Kindles or other electronic devices. Operating the e-foldy the throttle is located on the right handle. To drive the e-foldy, simply turn the throttle towards yourself. It is always recommended to check the gear and to turn the throttle slowly. Your e-foldy is designed with both forward and reverse gears. Travelling directions and maximum speeds are controlled by a three-way switch on the handlebar. One is for travelling at four miles per hour. Two is for travelling on the road at eight miles per hour. The letter O is the sign for reverse. On the same handlebar, there are also switches to control front lights, the horn and indicators. The handbrake is located on the left handle, completed with a handbrake lock. When applying the handbrake, the power to the motor will be cut off automatically. Pressing the handbrake lock will keep the e-foldy stationary on the ground. To change between the different speeds and travel directions, please apply the handbrake and wait until the e-foldy has come to a complete stop. When the main switch is switched on, the display on the handlebar shows the voltage of the battery. Showing 29 or above means the battery is full, while below 23 means it needs charging. To maximise the lifespan of the battery, it is highly recommended to charge it often and well before the voltage display drops to below 23. Travelling with the e-foldy. For longer journeys, the e-foldy can be easily folded and fit into your car. To do so, Release latch B and C on the front stand at the same time, holding them until the front stand is lowered fully and rested against the handlebar assembly. The e-foldy is the size of a medium suitcase and can be neatly packed in the car boot, leaving sufficient space for other luggage. It can also be put in the car, on the seat or in the footwell of the passenger seats and with room to spare. And you can also take the e-foldy with you on your holidays. Thank you for watching and we hope that the e-foldy helps you fully enjoy your everyday travelling.